Okay, for part three, it then says the normal to the curve at A. So that's at right angles to the tangent meets the y-axis at C. So we've got this third point here, C, and wants to know the y-coordinate of C. Well, we know from part one and what we've said in part two that at A, the real gradient is 20. So at A, the gradient of the tangent is 20. And we also know that that is the coordinate 550. So that means we can write down the gradient of the normal. And that's going to be the negative reciprocal, so negative 1 over 20. And we know a point on the line, so we can do y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 to get the full equation of the line. So that's going to be y minus 50 is equal to negative 1 over 20 x minus 5. So if we multiply those brackets out, normally we'd times by 20 at this point if we were looking for the equation of the line but we specifically want the y-intercept which will be the c value when it just says y equals not if we had a, a multiple of y so it's going to be better in this question to just multiply it out and keep the fractions in so we're going to get plus 5 over 20 which is a quarter so then if i move the 50 over going to get negative 20, 1 over 20x plus 50 and a quarter. So that is my c value, the y-intercept. So c's y-coordinate is 50 and a quarter or 50.25.